Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create mid-side processing in Reaper. Now the idea of mid-side processing is being able to separate all the instruments that are in the center from the instruments on the side or the sounds in the sides. In other words, if something is happening in both speakers exactly the same, that's going to be in mono. So that could be one channel or the mid or the center. While other instruments that only appear on the sides, that'll be another channel or the side in mid side. So what we're going to do in this video is to separate those and process them separately. Now this can be used for many things. Maybe a stereo keyboard track where you want to push up the center versus the sides or the reverb or effects. It could be used for drum overheads to also affect how wide they are. It also could be used for mastering, which is kind of how I'm going to show you in this video with a stereo track. But feel free to use it for any stereo track you want. So the track in front of me here, let's hear it. So right away, we could tell which instruments are right in the middle, like our kick and our snare. So we could readjust them versus the instruments on the side and also process them separately. So let's go to our effects on this track, right up here. And then we're gonna search mid side. And there's two plugins to choose from, the mid side decoder and the mid side encoder. We're gonna need both of these as we're gonna first encode the effect and then decode the effect on the way out. So let's start with the encoder. As you can see, this plugin doesn't have any parameters to adjust. But what it's going to do is it's going to put the mid or the center channel to the left side and everything that's different or what's on the sides to the right channel. So if we listen to it like this, it's going to sound a bit weird. Notice we hear the kick and snare more on the left because those instruments are more in the middle. Now we could add a decoder to this track, but I want a bit more control. So instead, let's create two more tracks. Double click over here, and let's name these either mid or center, and side or sides. Now we could send from this track to these tracks. So let's grab the routing and drop it on the center. And let's change this to just send the first channel, which again is our mid or our center. So we'll be sending that to this track. Now for this track, we'll send channel two, which is the sides. Drag from here and drop it. And we're just gonna send channel two. Now if I play it now, we're gonna hear the sound from all three tracks. And we don't want that. So we should turn it off on the first track. So I'll go to our routing and turn off the master parent send. So now we're not going to hear it from this track. We're just going to hear it from these two. So here's our mid or our center. And here's the sides. It sounds a bit weird because it's not in stereo because we need to first decode it. So we'll do that on another track. So let's create another track down here and let's name this blend. This is going to be a blend of both the tracks. So now we'll send this track to here, both channels, and this one to here as well. And again, we'll turn the master parent send off on this one and this one. 
So now we're not going to hear it through these channels either. Just down here. But if I play it now, it's all in mono. So we want to first put the mid or center track to the left and the sides to the right. This way we can decode it correctly. Then we'll add the decoder plugin to this track. Go to the effects, type in mid side, and this time we're going to choose the decoder. And this is going to decode the left side, which is the mid, and the right side, which is the sides. So we play it now. It sounds normal again. But now we can control a few different things. We can do a few things right in the plugin, like readjust our center level. Or readjust the center position, or its panning. But the way we set it up will give us more control over each channel. So let's close this and instead go to our mixer. And now right from here, we can readjust our center and our sides. So if we want to bring down our kick and snare, we could do it from here. Or if we want to make the mix more mono, just bring the sides down. But we can control it even more using effects. Like for instance, let's add a compressor just on the center. Go to our effects, go to our compressors, and we'll go to recomp. Then we can compress just the center channel or the mid channel. And blend that with the sides. As it controls more the kick and snare. We could also compress just the sides. Go to the effects on the sides channel, add a compressor here, and just compress the sides. And mix that back in with the center. We could also EQ them separately. Let's add an EQ to the center or the mid. We'll go to re-EQ. Let's filter out the low end. Let's boost the mids. And bring that back in with the sides. Well, we could add an EQ to the sides and make it very different from the mid or center EQ. And blend that together. It's 
pretty interesting. And it gives us some extra control of the mids or center compared to the sides, or the sounds that only appear on the left and right. And we can add any effects to control each channel separately, whether it be a stereo mix like this, or keyboards, or piano, anything you can think of. So that's pretty much it. That's creating mid side processing in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.